Hello, today I'd like to show you how to um, make a hem using an overlocker, which is a really exciting thing if you're making a simple garment like the one I'm wearing. This is just a simple t-shirt shape that's a pattern free to make in my sewing classes. So the whole thing's made just using an overlocker, including the hem and the cuff edges. I've also got another example here of the Angie top, <coughs> which is one of my patterns available on my website. Um, the Angie top again, you can make the entire thing using the overlocker. So we've got a simple neckband and then the hem is finished using an overlocker, which is um, what I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay, so before I show you the technique, I just want to mention different weights of fabric and hem depths. Um, this is a really nice, soft, viscose jersey and it works perfectly on this. Um, this is slightly heavier cotton jersey. Um, I think really on a cotton jersey or anything around this weight, you want to go to a slightly deeper hem because the trouble is if it's too narrow, it can flip up um, and look a bit unattractive. So I, I would probably actually go to 2.5 or 3 centimetres on a cotton, cotton um, fabric like this. But you can do a narrower hem on a viscose jersey or any soft handle jersey. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is turn the hem up and press it, just like you would if um, you were doing a, an, any sort of average hem. So, like I said, I think 2.5 is probably the minimum you'd really want to do for this hem. So I'm going to do 2.5. I'm just going to measure that along and press. There's lots of gadgets. Um, you can use to make sure your hem's even. You do want to make sure this is quite even and you'll see why in a couple of minutes. And I'm just going to carry on pressing that till the whole hem edge is turned up 2.5 centimetres. So once we're all the way to the end there, we want to go back and this is the, this is the clever trick that makes this work. And go back to the beginning and then we're going to do like a concertina. So we're going to turn that back on itself. So where the raw edge comes, you're folding it back. So right sides are together. Um, I'm going to use these clips. I think these are for quilters, um, but they're brilliant for for working with the you know working on the overlocker because pins. If you do miss them, it does make a bit of a mess of the overlocker. So I'm just going to clip this very carefully with the raw edge on that folded edge and go all the way to the end. Um, just before, I'm also going to show you how to do the the cuff edges. So I've got the, this one actually prepared here. So I've left, what I've done is I've left the side seam of this garment open. Let me move that out of the way. Um, so that I can prepare the, the cuffs in the same manner. So this has been pressed up and then turned back and clipped. But what I'm going to do next before I sew any hem is I'm going to join the underarm seam and then which is going to allow me to do the um, hem of the cuff on the circle and then I can do the hem of the, um, the bottom on the circle as well. So I'm going to show you that next. Okay, before we start sewing, you've just got to do a couple of things to the overlocker to set it up. Um, just thread it up, up as normal and check that the stitching is stitching properly and the differential feed doesn't need adjusting. Um, but the one, so there's nothing really major to do to the actual setup, but the one thing we do need to do is just to remove the knife. So all machines are slightly different, it's just best to check your manual. For my knife on this Benina, I need to pull the stitch finger back and then push the knife out of place like that and put the stitch finger back. So now my knife is disengaged. It's, um, like I said, some of them um, you have to unscrew, but most of the modern machines now have a function where you can just disengage it with a button or like that. So now we're ready to start stitching. So we're set up ready to go. 
The reason why we've re removed the knife is that we don't really want this to cut this edge because obviously this inner edge now is your actual garment um, and if you do go wrong um, potentially you've cut you've cut the the garment so you can still unpick but it does mean that if you 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 can't rely on the knife to clean any little edges up like threads hanging out so just make sure they're all tidy before you start um, I generally start for a hem I'd start on the back um, not actually on the side seam but just leading up to the side seam and start we're just going to start sewing now where it's quite bulky I just take it quite steady um, because obviously it can sometimes break the needle so I'm just going to start sewing this now So I'm guiding the um, folded edge, which is also matched up with the raw edge, just along um, the guide line here of the edge of the machine. We're not, because obviously we're not cutting anything off, we're just literally stitching and we want the stitch to hold the raw edge and the folded edge. So where we're now coming to the end of this line, we just want to overlap the stitching to start with. That's the flip back a tiny bit. And just keep sewing, keep sewing. This bit we're gonna to need to trim off because there's no knife. There we go. And then just gently sort of grade into that seam and then swing it out of the machine. You can cut that. Okay, so now we've stitched the hem, we can do the armhole. So this was what I prepped up before while it was flat. It makes it a lot easier to um, press while it's flat and then stitch the underarm seam. This is obviously a bit of a tighter circle, um, but it still should be perfectly manageable. So I'm just gonna treat it exactly the same as the hem and start stitching at the underarm. Again, I'm going to cut that little piece off and taper it off. So when it first comes out of the overlocker, it's going to look a bit wavy um, just because it's slightly stretched. So I'm going to just press that now and show you the finished hem. So um, there we go, there's the finished hem pressed. Um, you can see on the inside overlocked on the outside you get this kind of finish as if it's like a hem band and here's the sleeve nice and neat so um, just a couple of other things to say about this I have actually tried using it as um, a top of a, a leggings channel for elastic which worked quite well so you can imagine if this was the top of the leggings and you did a much deeper um, hem you could just leave a little bit of the overlocking open to thread the elastic in so that works quite well so there's lots of different options so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, thank you for watching if you'd like to see some more please subscribe to my youtube channel mm -hmm.